My name is Rick Willoughby of the Motorcycle. The gentlemen I have with me here are Russell Wright of New Zealand Hello, and Bob Burns of Scotland, Hello, who, as you know, gained for Britain last July the world's maximum speed record for solo and sidecars using Wright's Black Lightning Vincent, which was streamlined and repaired by Bob Burns. Uh, they also, of course, gained the Motorcycle Award and thousands of pounds, which was offered for the first British rider of a British machine to gain these records. We're now going to see a film which was taken in New Zealand last July showing the successful record attempts. December 1954. Along the road hurtles Bob Burns astride the 1,000cc Vincent Black Lightning. And whoosh, there he goes at a 155.2 miles an hour to win the world's maximum speed sidecar record for Great Britain. Officially recorded on this timing gear from Canterbury College Industrial Benevolent Department. Russell Wright, riding solo along the tram road between Ohoka and Swananoa in July 1955. A speed of nearly 183 miles an hour was achieved on the first run. And here is Russell on his second run, going at over three miles a minute, no less than 187.14 miles an hour. With the third wheel fitted for the sidecar attempt, Bob Burns roars past her three shattering, ear-splitting runs on Black Lightning. And bingo, we've got a new world sidecar record of 163.06 miles an hour. So that's it. In spite of a wet road surface, two new records of 185 and 163 miles an hour are recorded. Everybody happy? New Zealander Kevin Morgan from Christchurch helps Bob Burns to fit the tail on, which he then proceeds to polish with gusto. Rather a waste of time due to the considerable amount of seawater on the beach that day. Some final adjustments are made inside the cockpit, the details of which Russell Wright, holder of the world's fastest solo record, appears to find of much interest. Bob Burns hands out invaluable information and his advice is welcomed by Vic Willoughby, all togged up and raring to go. Technically minded enthusiasts will be interested to hear that this machine, bought by Wright and equipped with its fish-like shell by Burns, incorporates such modifications as big port cylinder heads and large bore carburetors. A tank full of alcohol fuel, just one gallon, and here are the nostrils through which the engine breathes. Horsepower rather than manpower makes for easier starting from cold. And very soon Bob and Russell Wright are bowling along the beach on a warming up run. and onto the concrete ramp. A quick discussion, a few last minute instructions, and Vic Willoughby clambers in. On with the cover. Hope you don't suffer from claustrophobia, Vic. A 
cine camera mounted in the chassis records the off. And it's all hands on deck. Or should it be all shoulders to the wheel? Now we're getting down to it. But with no rear spring on a rough beach and tires at 55 pounds, it's a bit wearing on machine and rider alike. miles an hour in second gear, with his engine clocking 6,400 revs per minute, Bob Burns aims for the distant cliffs and the television cameras. But near disaster strikes, as a clutch lining comes adrift and flying sand jams the throttle wide open. Nearer and nearer come the cliffs while Bob struggles with the controls. Finally, in desperation and with great presence of mind, he manages to pull away a plug lead and carefully ease the still rocketing machine round in front of those unfriendly looking cliffs. Back along the beach now, on the home run. Still at speed in spite of the large quantities of cuttlefish shells lying around half embedded in the wet sand, sticking up like thousands of little razor blades. However, the confidence of Bob Burns in his Avon Towers is fully justified. Black Lightning sails merrily across this miniature minefield and up onto the concrete ramp. And so, yet again, Avon Towers have proved their practical reliability under conditions of use far from normal. And the tires that you ride on are manufactured from the same materials, by the same methods, and with the same meticulous care and skill.